Hey guys, Min here again from MHK Designs. I'm back with another video tutorial on how to stretch your digital images and papers. Today I'm going to show you how to take an image and fill it in with some digital papers. This set, this uh, image and sentiment set, is the Rosie Posy set. And then these papers are from the French Country Paper Pack. So I'm going to go ahead and make this small. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start by getting your papers up that you wanted. So I'm using these three papers. And you're going to need to go up here and you're going to need to go to Edit, Define Pattern. And then you can just hit OK each time. And then you're going to click out, close it. And you're going to do that for all of these different papers. And I'll show you where those are being saved in just a second. So I've defined all of my pattern. And then here I have that same card panel without the flower filled in. So after you've got those, pa or those patterns defined, you're going to click on your fill tool. And up here you're going to click pattern instead of foreground. And I have lots of patterns, but if you go to the very end, you'll see the three that I just added. So here's my purple one my green one, my blue one, and you'll see that I already had done that when I made this card the first time. So I'm going to select that purple, and I'm going to use it to fill in the middle of my flower. And as you can see, I'm just clicking the individual sections of the flower that I want to be that purple color. And as you can see, as I'm clicking, let me come back over here and grab my cursor, as I'm clicking, do you see how the pattern is just staying true as I go into each space, which I think is really cool. So after I've got the purple done, then I'm going to go up here again. It's still on pattern. And I'm going to click on the green and fill in my leaves. And as you can see, the pattern's staying true there as well. Sometimes you have to get in these itsy bitsy tiny spots. And it's kind of hard. We might have to come back and zoom in on that one up there. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to make this bigger. And I'm hitting Control plus. That's an easy way to zoom in and then Control minus for zooming out. And I'm just going to fill in these leaves with the green pattern. And the cool thing about this too is you could use different pattern papers for the different greens that you wanted. Like if you wanted to do variations. And I'm going to grab the blue. Fill in all these spaces that I want to be blue. And you could even do more colors on these flowers. Like if you wanted to do an ombre effect, you could grab three papers that were varying shades of the same color and change the intensity with them if you wanted to. Control plus again to zoom in. And now control minus. And there you have it. There's that same card front that I made before. And I didn't show you how I laid out my card front, but if you go to last month's video, I can't remember the title of it. I'm so sorry, but if you go to last month's video where I taught you how to use, oh my goodness, I can't even remember what I had you use. But if you go to last month's video that I posted, it'll show you, oh, Faux quilted background, that's what it was. Using different pattern papers to create a faux ba uh, pattern background. I showed you how to layer different elements to create a card base. Now the cool thing about this again is I will be able to print this out as a one layer card. And if you hop over to the blog, you'll see the little uh, accents that I used to um, jazz it up a bit. I think I did some glitter in the centers of the flowers and then maybe a few enamel dots. But these make such awesome one layer cards and they're still pretty and they look layered and they just give you a little bit more bang for your buck when you grab some digital um, goodies. So I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you go and grab these products from the store, the Rosie Posy Digital Stamp Set and the French Country Papers. Don't forget to come back to our blog tomorrow because we start a new challenge and I would love for you to upload any of your creations that you make with us. Um, you don't have to use MHK Designs products, but if you do, it's anything goes. Otherwise, we have a really fun theme for you. And so until next time, hugs and happy stamping, friends.